so speaking of uh, multi-year plans and comebacks, um, NBA Live is kind of in the news this week. A few people have uh, posted some details and we've uh, put up a bulletin ourselves. Uh, we've actually passed our uh, prediction point at this point for um, for news, Ben. We did say it was going to be mid-January. It's still kind of mid-January, but yeah. probably by the time we get news, it's <laughs> concrete news and confirmation is going to be uh, late January, early Feb. But we do actually have some kind of news, certainly rumours going around about NBA Live at the moment, posted in the, the forum, and a shout-out to um, RJ Hunter and ZZ Cool J for some of the heads-up on uh, what's being posted around the web. I know Trapswish uh, tweeted out a teaser image, I believe is also, before that was tweeted out by um, by Prime, Prime76, so quite a few people in the uh, NBA Live Society, in the uh, online basketball gaming community, been sharing this, so shout-out to all you guys for the heads up but there's a translated uh, document uh, going around a, a game classification decision for ea korea uh, referring to the drive to nba live which is on both xbox one and ps4 uh, further information refers to it as a sports simulation game and the latest demo for the nba live series so it's looking like something's in the pipeline then yeah uh, you know it's it's sort of in that sounding like it's in that theory that you know it might be a, a demo for this uh, year cycle, and then obviously when Live 18 be coming out, it's probably the full game. That's what it's sounding like at this stage. So, and it, and it does, and it, it seems like there won't be a Live 17, but the drive to NBA Live kind of a, a teaser, uh, as you said. Uh, Kenny and I were talking about it on the show last week, and reiterated that speculation. It definitely does seem. Uh, a distinct possibility. We don't want to report it as fact until EA makes some kind of announcement, but seeing these teaser images for the drive to NBA Live, uh, the fact that it's getting classifications, getting ready to push some something through, uh, it, it seems like it's going to be some kind of demo or stripped-down uh, digital release that's going to preview what they've been working on for NBA Live, and, and yeah, presumably a full release later in the year. Um, I keep talking about the the future plans when people ask them about it on, on, uh, on Twitter, and that seems like a fairly uh, fairly good option. I-, I can see some people being disappointed by it, but the fact that they are bringing something out, and if it impresses, and if it's uh, affordable, people don't have, people don't have to put out a lot of money uh, to to play this this demonstration, whatever you know, however big the demo may be. Um, it's it's a viable strategy to rebuild some of that trust with the with the fan base, and hopefully preview some really good tech. Yeah, you know in. And- a good alternative just for something a little bit different for you know for game modes and stuff like that and and yeah just just something that feels a little different in that sense instead of something that has felt the same for a little bit of time so yeah just a small subtle change um i'm, I'm hoping that does come out strong and, and that you know that there has been that that amount of work that we've really been anticipating and being put on it um, yep. In terms of what the full game would look like, obviously, what will happen with obviously what's looking like with a live eighteen, but you know something that's substantial, uh, and whether you know we'll find out if it's officially gone to Frostbite engine this year, or if it's it'll be or for live the seventeen demo or the or the road to the road to NBA live sort of demo, or whether it be in full live eighteen sort of thing. So yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, anticipation to sort of see well what they've done and and what the, what the what the plans are. So yeah, and, and definitely there have been whispers about it going to the Frostbite engine. Uh, we know that other EA titles have and are going to the Frostbite engine, so it seems uh, quite possible, likely even that uh, e- that uh, EA will be doing the same thing with NBA Live. We won't report that as fact, certainly until we can get confirmation that it's fact, but that is a rumour that's going around now. We have acknowledged that before, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously I want to see a full, uh, fully featured NBA Live again. You know, I want to see roster editing. I want to see a deep dynasty mode, deep rising star, more stuff in ultimate team. Uh, I'd love to see All-Star Weekend back. You know, we've gone through all that stuff that we'd love to see and certainly want to see that in NBA Live 18. But if the drive to NBA Live, if this is what it's going to be, um, it kind of reminds me of uh, the Prelude. I guess it's like a very early version of um, what 2K did with the Prelude. I mean, that was a you know right before 2K17 came out. This is yeah, yeah. A, a, a much advanced preview uh, 
presumably, if that's indeed what it is. Um, but if it impresses and it shows me that the gameplay is up to scratch and they've got some really good stuff going with the animations and the controls and everything, um, then I feel a lot better about Live 18 because I say, well, okay, now they can spend the next six months or whatever putting everything into game modes because the gameplay's in pretty good shape. You know, they've worked on this gameplay. Now they can really focus on the modes. So, yeah, it's kind of got me optimistic. And I think it's... Uh, there's risk in the strategy, of course, but I think it also makes sense and that it could um, instill goodwill without forcing them to uh, <laughs> to put out a lot of money on it, basically. Yeah. One thing I'd hope will be interesting to see whether they, would they go with this, with this demo route is... Um, and if they complement like a couple of gameplay tweaks or improvements and sort of thing with, um, you know, just sort of testing the user community base and all that stuff, whether something that they're trying to do, you know, whether they try it for a little bit, get feedback for like, just say a month or so, uh, and then, you know, tweak and all that stuff. And so that way, you know, it, the, the game and that will evolve and upon community feedback. So that way, you know, by the time it comes to that live 18 release, it's like, okay, this is where we're at with all the tuning and stuff from where we're, what we've worked with and what we've gained from the community. So no, that way it, it, yeah. it minimizes the potential uh, post-release uh, patch support in a lot of ways that, you know, there won't be need to be like, say, seven or eight patches in like a few months. So that's where I kind of hope no, uh, would be uh, a good benefit in that sense, that they use the time now. So that way, when the full Live 18 comes out, that, you know, it, it's got that balance that the community is happy with and the developers are happy with in that sense. So, yeah. No, I, I agree. And ideally, you want the the, uh, the drive to NBA Live to be pretty solid and maybe get a couple of patches and, and get better. But it will certainly, with that feedback, um, you know, we can say perhaps, hopefully, you're on the right track, but here's a couple of things that need to be added. But then most of it can go into fleshing out the experience. I would yep. imagine there'll be some kind of game modes, maybe a playoffs mode, uh, maybe a single season mode, you know, not the full Dynasty experience, but just a single season. Um, that wouldn't be a bad idea for a, a stripped down digital only release, maybe season and playoffs. And um, uh, I suppose you could probably do an ultimate team, but even maybe ultimate team and pro-am, for example, and say, hey, this is you know, an experience of the single play. Oh, and, and I guess a head to head, you know, just NBA games exhibition. So it's an exhibition. And a practice, a practice, practice mode. mode. Uh, so you can shoot shoot around, um, exhibition games, ultimate team, and pro am. You know, that's that would be pretty good for a demonstration, and certainly if you could level up your player and, and um, to a certain point, and then take that over to NBA Live 18, as in the Prelude um, with 2K17 later in the year when, it come, when Live 18 comes out, that would be another good approach too. I can see them doing that um, because mm -hmm. re you remember the Live 16 demo in 2015, you could uh, you could level up your player to a certain point in that as well and then take it over to the full game if you purchase the full game. Yeah. So that's a... I, I think that's that would be pretty good for for the demo. Um, I could be a pretty sound strategy. Obviously, come the full release, Live 18, you do need that Deep Dynasty, roster editing, Rising Star... Uh, deeper ultimate team, uh, more even more in stuff in pro am, um, customization slides, all that stuff. But if they can show off something good and give something people something to play with, with the drive to NBA Live, and it impresses with the gameplay and the animations and everything, they they could be setting things setting themselves up for a pretty good run come Live 18. If they can also then get on top of that further imp uh, further tweaks to the gameplay as you said, and uh, and stuff with with the rest of the modes, it's. And, and roster editing, of course, once again, can't uh, can't leave it out and can't stress it enough how much we want that back. Um, but yeah, it's you know it's a risky strategy, and they've taken several risks, uh, some of which have paid off uh, more than others in the past few years. But no, I I think it's it's getting something out in quarter one as they promised, quarter one of twenty seventeen, and it would be a yeah I, I think it would be a, a pretty good uh, idea if it's um, if it's anything like we've been uh, speculating at least. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed that it we get some news soon, and that it's uh, that it does turn out well. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, ultimately, yeah, I would love if, if we heard something this weekend, but probably realistically, in the next two weekends, I reckon. Oh well, not, pro probably tomorrow. Now that we're talking about it on the show tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we know how that goes, but it didn't happen last week, so we didn't force it out. Um, something around the All Star weekend, I guess. Um, 
maybe this comes out sometime in February, March, and it's something that ca- carries people through to the playoffs and through the off season, perhaps. But yeah, we'll we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it is looking like it's going to be some kind of um, some kind of demo stripped down digital re- release rather than a fully fledged uh, game. A fully fledged game probably wasn't going to get uh, it was going to be feasible and probably wasn't get going to get um, the market share anyway. So if they can get people's attention with what they're doing now and then come back with a really strong release in the fall, uh, that's 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 a good um, that's a potentially good strategy and I, I definitely hope it works out for them. As I said. <laughs> 